What is going on, everyone? We are back with another music reaction of Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. And we are back... To some Snake Charmer. That's exciting. Um, so we missed a couple of Snake Charmer songs that came out. This one came out in October. Okay. And then she's already dropped one this month so far. Awesome. That but I wanted to go back and hit the one in October first. All right. Um, so this is a Celtic Punjabi folk music. All right. Um, which means it's it's going to be the bagpipes and the bengra. That's awesome. Uh, in terms of what instrumentally we're going to hear, um, and the song is called Frantic Feathers, which okay. also has a sub song title of Toss the Feathers. Okay. So I'm we'll excited to hear it. this. There's, uh, I'm just, I'm always excited to hear something from the Snake Charmer. Bagpipes. Uh, Bagpipes, bagpipes. Are, <laughs> bagpipes are one of the most, in my opinion, beautiful sounding instruments when played correctly. Right. But also one of the worst sounding instruments <laughs> if played incorrectly. Right. Yes, they do have that duality, do they not? They yes. do. Um, she always plays them correctly, so it's always yeah. exciting to listen to her. Plus, I like her take on the, the bagpipes. I mean, it's new, it's fun, it's fresh, it's interesting. I don't know. Love it. So, with that being said, we're going to check it out. Mm. Let's get it. This is uh, Snake Charmer with Frantic Feathers. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm curious, and I, I would like somebody to help answer this question. Are the sticks that they play them with curved because it does something to the sound, or is that just a design choice? Yeah, I, I actually don't know that. I have a dress very similar to that. She looks so cute. I love it. Oh, I love I that she can dance she... while doing this, too. I mean, even if it's just a step here and there. Like, there's so much support that goes into playing the bagpipes and everything. I'm surprised that she can. That's right. talent. Um, I'm so happy for them, but you know what makes me mad? Mm. Some of these guys are probably as old as we are. Right. And they could still do these dance moves. I was thinking and to if, myself, they get higher off the ground than I got when I was a gymnast on the trampoline. They get higher off the ground than I've ever gotten in terms of just jumping, but they also get lower to the ground than I can get now. Correct. Without That's worrying about trying to stand the That's fuck back up. That's also true, yeah. Well, it's wild to me. They're doing it fast. I love it. Too. I love it for it's them. It's not just lowering myself right. to the ground to pick something up and then, because I'm still worried about getting back up. They're jumping while they're doing it. Right. Right. <laughs> Don't break something. Fun. This is where I hate being American. Why? You look at all these other countries and cultural backgrounds. Right. And, like, they have, like, what looks like something that's probably done in India with the way people are dancing and moving. I think this was for their down. Festival of Lights. And then, like, or you look at, like, the Chinese Asian culture, China, Japan, that, that, that yeah. area. And theirs is a very elegant but fluid kind of moving. Right. 
Um, you look at Hawaiian. Theirs is also elegant and fluid, but it's very hip oh, involved. Oh, well, yeah, you're talking about the Lua. Um, you look at uh, <laughs> Russia. Yeah. Russia even has theirs. You know, or whatever. I mean, like, there's um, multiple. But you're talking about extensive cultural backgrounds. And ours really dance. comes from best described England with ballroom dancing, which is probably the closest we've got to actual cultural dancing for I Americans. Mean, like, and when I say Americans, I'm talking about Americans now, not Native Americans. They would also um, probably throw in, like, square dancing type thing, because, again, it's a line dance, kind of. But it started a long time ago. Right. Uh, probably. Um, like which, don't threats. get me wrong, like, ballroom dancing is cool, too. Like, I do like, like, the tango and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, tango's probably more Hispanic, though. Yeah, I was just going to say um, that that's a... Uh, ours is more waltz, I guess. Right. A waltz. Waltzes are nice, too. I can waltz. Nice um, and slow. But yeah, ours isn't fun fun. Ours is just elegant and it's like very close to other people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very staid. Right. But like... It, You're oh, not supposed to be mm. that close to other people with ours either. Like the waltz and shit like that, honestly, it's, you know, you gotta save space for uh, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no, fuck that. Right. No, I agree with you. This is... This is fun. I, can you imagine growing up? I can't imagine doing this now, but can you imagine growing up, like, having learned some of the Bollywood-type dance moves? Right. Like, I think that would be amazing. Get together and everyone's, like, jumping around your backyard and everything like that? That sounds so much better to me than, like, trying to set fire to everything in the backyard. Right. As a celebratory-type thing. Yeah. Guys, let's go. It's got a very like oh phoenix from the ashes yeah, story it to it it does <sighs> that was unexpected and extremely nice extremely nice i also like the slow-mo like posing moments right before she went into singing very nice very beautiful um but it caught me off guard when she started singing. Yeah. I wasn't and I am not it. disappointed whatsoever. No. At all. Lovely voice. Yes. All right. No no wonder she has lung power for the bagpipes. How yeah, much of a that? nightmare. So jealous. How much of a nightmare as a twenty year smoker it would be to start trying to learn how to play bagpipes? Well, are you contemplating right now? No. Right. It would, it would be a nightmare. They're also heavier. And I would not want to listen to the practice involved. Neither would I. Right. That would be <laughs> part of the nightmare right there. that it surprised me too I really like that I'm glad she sang yes needs to happen more yes yeah 
Uh, fantastic job. I don't know what your actual name is. I just know you're the snake charmer. She might say. Um. Yeah. My mind just shit completely on itself. That is always. Been, <laughs> That's the, getting older. What the hell is her boyfriend's name? Or has uh, he's not there? Karan. Karan. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell Karan we said hi if you watch this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Look. He knows who Pass we are. Pass on a message. I'm just saying. Right. Uh, but no, it, you did a fantastic job. Uh, that was that was I can't lovely. wait to see <clears throat> even more. Right. And I do hope from that the there's more drama. singing. Lovely um, voice. We would definitely love to hear more singing. Uh, yeah. Do what you feel is right, but just know as fans, we would. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, that was fantastic. That, it was so fun. It was so great watching so many people just dancing, enjoying, yeah. enjoying life, and just that's how life should be. Plus, they had such a cool backyard with all the lanterns and the. Do so you want to know why? It reminded me of like a Hobbit area for some reason. All the grass, probably. I I, I want to know where this happened with England and or backslash America, where dancing was so serious, you always had to have like a serious face. Because if you look at like all the waltzes and stuff. Nobody looks like they're enjoying themselves. Religion. It's very... Religion. But like, you know, laughing, dancing, smiling, getting into yeah, it. Yeah, no. And I think no. a lot of it even nowadays is like Apparently people are God so afraid to look goofy. And it's okay to look goofy. Yeah. But God hated that. I think people thought God hated that. Yeah, no, I know. Well, our construct of... Yeah. I mean, the Amish still think. Correct. But that's what I'm, you know. Um, it, it got very, very serious. And anybody who danced wildly or was deemed pagan and a witch and, <clears throat> you know. Um, fantastic video. Loved it. 100%. Great. Yeah. Can't wait to see more. So, with that being said, <laughs> we love you guys. We will see you all next time. Um, there's only going to be two Indian reactions this week. Uh, it is a holiday week for us. It's a holiday we don't really celebrate, but I'm taking, you know, we're spending time with kids and stuff, so that's the thing. We always take the vacation time the as family time. Right. And then remember what actually happened and celebrate in our own way. If we have to celebrate because we have the kids. We all white people. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Retribution! <laughs> Please pay no attention to us. One hundred percent joking, we guys. We do not condone retribution, especially to what two hundred and some odd years down down the road. Right. Um. Just. Uh. We also don't condone making it out to be just Happy Pilgrim Day. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, uh, just always make it a point as human beings. We just need to do better. Right, and we need to remember history as accurately we, as we possibly can, so we, that we can do better. We can't control the people of our past as a as, as, as a worldly thing, but we can help direct the future. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't control people, period, but we can help direct the future. <laughs> right. Anyways, love you guys. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>